Hey guys, Cheesy Poofy here. We got another video game character to add to the collection of figures today. This one's a little bit old school, so I'm not sure if most of you even know this. But if you're a fan of fighters like I am or any of that kind of stuff, you will know Terry Bogart from The King of Fighters or Fatal Fury and all those awesome SNK games. So SNK vs. Capcom. Another one from the D-Art series. And the figure and design are specifically from... King of Fighters 94. So you can see the Bandai logo. But, like most of the other D-Arts figures, they're extremely customizable. You can put them in different positions, and I think they have a little connector series so you can have them in the middle of moves. You know, you can just be like, Basta Wolf! Let's go ahead and pop him out and see uh, how much more tape there is or any of that kind of stuff in between. So you guys can get a better and quicker look at another awesome D-Arts figure. It looks like more D art, so this is for Samurai Showdown. Oh, how do I know that? Can I read Japanese? Honto Deska? No, not necessarily. Um, but I can, you know, clearly see the outline of one of the uh, the main characters there. <laughs> so maybe that's what that's coming for. But you know, the website's still talking about Terry Bogart. So who knows? Uh, this is just the background for the D arts box itself. Instruction manual. These are all the different pieces that it comes with. Handset A, or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I comes with a little bag that he holds that he can just throw over his side. It shows you, you know, hey, here's the socket joints, how they go in place, how you can switch out his arms, his hands, his head to any of the different fashions. So very, uh, very extensive. Seeing Terry a little up close there. And after getting all four sides of the tape off, I think we are ready to show off Terry Bogart. So it comes with different layers, of course. The main layer will show off in a different a second. And this is, of course, taped again. But we'll go ahead and just show you these from inside there. These are all these different, like, fireball slash moves. Basically anything that, you know, is Buster Wolf that shoots off little explosions, all that kind of fun stuff. So just added to his main little set there that you can just throw on and include. And then we'll show you all the Terry stuff complete by itself here. So you can see here's his ponytail actually. So his hair is all nice and firm or whatever. You can see all the different hands there. So one set, two set, three set, there's the four set the different faces that he has. Ha! And then I'll go ahead and bring this hand out actually because it's got his little bag of stuff. So basically like Ryu or any of that kind of stuff, you know. A drifter, he holds this bag and the string is an actual string. And it's put completely in the hand. The plastic is put together and tied in a knot so that's the only way that you're going to get it out um, but that's actually a really awesome combination right there and let's see Terry the man himself and all the articulation that D-Arts gives these figures and the Pokemon figures and different stuff like that and you can see there's actually two of the ponytails in so he's got one of them right now which is nice and you can see his hat and they just pop out. So I'm not sure necessarily what the difference is. But you can see Terry's awesome jacket there. It's a different piece on top of the uh, the, the hard plastic, which is kind of cool. He's definitely got a shoulder joint and elbow joint. And then the wrist. So the wrist is movable as well. He can move his abdomen and his chest. And he's got uh, hip joints, knee joints, and ankle joints. And also, the bottom of his foot is articulated as well. So he could, you know, be kicking a wall and breaking his foot and all. Um, you can see there his trademark star jacket. Very freaking awesome, actually. And D-Arts, of course, just did such an amazing job with the different Pokemon ones. You guys have seen Charizard and, and Mewtwo just on my stream alone at least. But you can see there you go. Terry Bogart. He's got his jeans. You can see his belt. 
you can see the undershirt from the back there and like the the knee joints you know actually look really cool you can switch out his head by taking out the hat and putting a different head on so he can be throwing out that Buster Wolf and all. but he's another awesome figure to add to the collection all the uh, the details and the muscles there you can see um, it's just got a little bit of those kind of techniques that certain people use when they uh, make figures so it's got those shadowing effects on the colors so there are different colors on the arm on top of the different grooves that you can see naturally and all which is really sweet those red converse look sick too it's like if anybody was trying to make a custom Doctor Who figure all you'd have to do is start with the uh, the bottom part of Terry Bogart there it's pretty cool but that's it for this time hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later